All right, in this video, we'll write the create company method, the method for creating a new company. Um, I, I want you to first of all observe that we have not logged in. We don't have a user that is logged in, so which means we're logged out. And the way we want to build this, we don't just want a stranger to show up and create, just click a button and start creating a new company. It doesn't make sense, all right? So we want the user to be, we want to be sure that the user is logged in when they are creating a new company and that means that we're entering a new phase in this development where we will start looking at user authentication and uh, authorization all right but for now we'll just chip it in so that we can achieve what we want we want to make sure that once the user fills the form the the create form this is it that we created in the past video after the user has filled this form once they click on submit We'll first of all check whether this user is logged in. If they are logged in, then we can save the data in the database. If they are not logged in, then we can redirect and tell them that no, I'm sorry, you have to be logged in to create this. All right, so let me show you. I've written part of this code, and um, so that we to save us time, so we'll just do more of an explanation. So back in the company's controller, you observe that I've written this code. What this does is this is the this is an if statement that houses every other thing. So what I'll do is just to uh, make sure that everything is inside. So all these are all these are inside this if statement. All right. So what this if is saying is if auth check, which means check whether this user is logged in. This is how you check whether a user is logged in in Laravel. Now, if we, for you to use auth check or auth anything, um, what you have to do is to import the auth facade. All right, you have to import this auth facade. In Laravel 5.5, I need to chip in that it's also embedded inside the request. So, um, for instance, you could do um, instead of doing this, I'll, instead of doing this to retrieve, we're trying to reach here. We're trying to retrieve the users, uh, the details of the logged in user. You know, when you log in, Laravel takes all the details you have in your database and and saves it in a session, in this auth session. So instead of doing this, you can also do a request. It is also present in the request user in Laravel 5.5, uh, 5 this version of Laravel. But this wasn't possible in previous versions of Laravel. So this and um, what we had here is basically the same. All right. So um, what we're basically doing here is once your auth facade is imported, we are checking if this user is logged in, if they're logged in, then uh, we have to create a new company. Make sure that um, you have company imported here. It should be imported by default. So we are using the create method, and what the create method has is these block brackets, and it now uh, you have to check um, get the inputs that is coming in the name that is coming in, then you get the description, and then uh, remember that we didn't add the user ID in the form. That is because we don't want somebody to edit our form uh, and add the user ID by default to, or manipulate it and add the user ID. This is what the user, people see when they open this form. So we didn't add the user ID here because we don't want somebody to right click and uh, inspect element and uh, be able to add an, an extra user ID field. For instance, we don't want people to be able to do this and look for the ID field on this form which is probably something around here and then add their own HTML by right clicking edit as HTML add an extra field which is like user input type text name user ID then value they could now put the, the malicious value they want maybe the ID of number 123 that's the user ID they want to pretend to be so we don't want this to happen if i click outside you see that an extra field will be created here as you can see there's now an extra field that is created here so if the person clicks submit the form will carry everything here and try to submit it but that's what we're trying to prevent from here uh, so that whatever they enter we can only save three things and um, two of which is what is in the, the name and the description the last one we're not giving them the option to save it we save it by ourselves so it's the id of the logged in user so if the user is not even logged in at all, nothing will happen. If they are logged in, it, it has to be their ID, nothing else. They can't change it, all right? Okay, so we've now created, we've now saved it into, uh, 
we've saved it into a, a variable called company then we're checking if the company was created successfully if this record was created successfully then we have to return we have to redirect to the the page to display it all right so we're displaying the company company and we're redirecting to show and then we're saying that it was successfully created but then what if it's not successfully created we have to still redirect uh to the previous page so i'm just gonna try and uh, find a redirect so we're going to redirect to the page they've just filled the form and uh, we're going to tell them that hey um outside is if whether they're logged in or not we have to redirect so outside is if we're just going to tell them that uh, you have to redirect sorry oh, your paper is not logged in with error then whatever error message you you want to give uh, error creating all right cool so this sorts our problem for the star method now which means um going further we'll start looking at uh so our user authorization and authentication but for now let us test that we can create a new company right so we get back to our code and the uh, list of companies we click on this and this looks cool so remember that, that we just have only one company now so i click on create new and i'll enter the name of the company so the name of the company i'm going to create is what company would you want me to create let's create a tesla we will not use the corresponding but tesla incorporation so int all right uh this is the foremost um car company in the planet of mars uh, 2070 2070 all right, so this is the explanation. I will click submit, and we have an error because there's a problem with the route. So let's go and check our route. In case you had that problem in the previous video, so just let's go and um, check our route. We have companies. We have create the blade, and um, it is going to create instead of to update. Uh, let me confirm. photos.create photos the store so it should go to store uh, instead of create so create displays the page but stores actually takes the value and start tries to store it so it should be photos the store and then the method is post which means we don't need to put the method is post the reason I know is because here on the store the method is post all right so we don't need to uh, use this hidden value again so I'll remove it and uh, we will have to go back and try to uh, save again i'll go back then i'll refresh i have to refresh to make sure that our changes have been effected i'll refresh i'll say tesla motors inc then the foremost insect company in jupiter all right that's 29 don't worry you'll not be there okay so we click submit it's opening and what happens um nothing happens okay let's me let me check yes of course nothing happens because we are not logged in all right and um what we'll do is to try and log in then test it again. now it appears that this is error so uh let's check on the on the files here we'll look at the layouts and what we have right here is errors okay so which means we have to go back and make sure in the companies and what we have here is errors all right that's why there, there is no error that displayed so what the next thing we have to do is to make sure that we can log in and just test so if I come to my database and check the user's browse, you see that there is no user registered. So we let us try and register a new user. So we'll click on registration. 
and then I'll just enter uh, my name and then my email and I'll choose a password choosing a strange password the world's most strangest password and then I'll click register once I'm registered it will sign me in automatically and once I'm signed in then I can now go and uh, feel create a new company for myself or the role ID doesn't have a default value um a quick um a quick thing we can do is to actually come here and um look at the role ID and give it a default value of three role ID because um if somebody doesn't select a role you should automatically give them a role ID all right so where the role ID of default as defined default three cool so we click save all right now we can now test I'll click Ctrl R Ctrl R means refresh then click continue to resubmit what I did before and let us see whether the registration is successful okay registration is now successful so let us go to companies so it is slash companies and hit enter and then uh, let us try and create a new company and see what happens Tesla and submit so as you can see it's worked perfectly all right so if you have any issue just make sure you drop a question in the comments and going for that we will fix our navigation so we can add links to all this in our navigation and then work on several other things thank you see you